Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at inscribed angles. So we have the problem chords AC and BD intersect at point E in circle O. If the measure of angle B is 44 degrees and the measure of angle AEB is 102 degrees, we want to find the measure of angle D. So for this problem we're going to make use of this concept of inscribed angles. That is, when we're looking for an angle in a circle, if it's an inscribed angle, we could focus on the arc that that angle intercepts. So if we notice that angle D is an inscribed angle and it intercepts arc BC. So we could section off this part of the circle here, and we know that this is what we want to target. If we could find the measure of this arc, we could find the measure of this inscribed angle D. So what we want to do first is fill in all the information that was given to us. We know that the measure of angle B is 44 degrees. So we can label this angle here 44 degrees. We also know that the measure of angle AEB is 102 degrees. So now this will allow us to find the measure of angle D. So what we want to do is notice how angle A also intercepts arc BC. That is the line segments that are building angle A contain this arc BC here. So what we want to do is find the measure of angle A. So what we need to recall is the measure of the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. So we're looking at 102 degrees plus 44 degrees plus the measure of angle A equals 180 degrees. Notice how we were targeting triangle AEB and we could set up this equation relating all the angles of triangle AEB. So now we could combine 102 plus 44 is 146. So we have 146 degrees plus the measure of angle A equals 180 degrees. So now we're going to subtract 146 degrees from both sides. 146 degrees minus 146 degrees will cancel and now we have that the measure of angle A is equal to 180 minus 146 is 34 so we have 34 degrees so now we could label this segment here 34 degrees and now what this is going to help us find we could notice right away that angle D and angle A both intercept the same arc therefore their measures are equal but let's say we didn't see that step we want to find the measure of arc BC, so we're going to use this equation here. We have the measure of an inscribed angle, in this case C, is equal to one half the measure of the arc that it intercepts. So using this, we could set up the equation. We have the measure of angle A, which is 34 degrees, is equal to one half the measure of arc BC. So now to solve for BC, what we could do is we can multiply both sides of the equation by 2. And now notice that 2 times 1 half is equal to 1, so at least two terms will cancel. And now we have the measure of arc BC is equal to 2 times 34 degrees is 68 degrees. So we have that the measure of arc BC is equal to 68 degrees. And now the way that this will help us find the measure of angle D, let's say, like I said before, we didn't know that these two angles are equal because they intercept the same arc. Now we could target angle D, and we know that the measure of angle D is equal to one half the measure of the arc that is intercepted by angle D. Well, the arc that angle D intercepts is arc BC. So what we could do is, since we just found that the measure of arc BC is 68 degrees, we could substitute and replace the measure of arc BC with 68 degrees. So now we have that the measure of angle D is equal to one half of 68 degrees, or it's equal to 34 degrees. So we can label this angle in here, we have 34 degrees. So we have our final answer right here. So this just goes to show when we are working with circle geometry, one thing, an extra detail that helps us now, when we're targeting an angle's measure, if it's an inscribed angle, you always want to be focusing on the arc that that angle intercepts. Because if you could find the measure of that arc, you could find the measure of the angle. 
Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on inscribed angles. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.